Welcome to the Chris and Tina Johnson project. And um, today we just wanted to let you know that we had a great 4th of July. And yep. We um, invited a couple of people to tell them what the 4th of July means to them. We went over to Blazing's house and had an awesome firework show. It was really nice. Had good dinner, good fellowship, and uh, we had a good time. This is July 4th, 2020, and we've asked a couple of people what July 4th means to them personally and what can we do now in the year 2020 with all the COVID, with the riots, with the division, with all this hatred and this all peaceful demonstration that is so destructive. What can we do, at least as a nation in the United States? July 4th, 2020 is sure different. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Most Metro Atlanta firework displays were canceled right, this good. weekend because of fear that the coronavirus could spread some cities went forward with their celebrations. First, the sad news. Four people were killed, 22 people injured in six different shootings on July 4th. That's what the police say. An eight-year-old girl was shot and killed on the 4th after at least two people in a crowd of armed people opened fire on a car she was riding in near a flashpoint of recent, of recent protest in Atlanta, authorities said Sunday. On a good note, we celebrated Murdy Rick's birthday. She was 109 years old. She was born July 4th, 1911 and got to set, celebrate another milestone birthday this year. So happy help us celebrate Miss Marty a happy birthday. But here we are, um, Chris and I, we just wanted to share um, something positive. We did have great celebration with friends that are more like family. And we would like you to see that there can be clean and honest, fun, interculturally, interracially and it is possible we can do it yeah too so we went ahead and interviewed this gentleman who opted to be called Jose and we asked him what he thought about July 4th. one question I want to know what July 4th means to you spiritually well, what July 4th means to me is the day that the United States 200 years ago started this country and regained our independence from Britain. We left Britain because we needed our own free freedom of religion. And uh, we didn't want to worship God in the way the Britons wanted us to worship God. Perfect. That's good. Thank you. Um, what does July 4th mean to you spiritually? Well, I think, first of all, we have to think of this nation as a nation that was it was created for God, for Jesus. It yep. wasn't a country that, not like any other country in this world, it was created with, with the fathers looking at Jesus in the Bible as a, as a foundation for the nation. And I think that's one of the things that makes this country unique to all other countries. And I think we had to break away from the country of, of our countries of Europe in order to be independent and to actually become the nation that we are. I mean, there are definitely denominations like the Baptists who came from Europe to America and, and flourished. And those are those denominations are one that I actually belong to this day. And I'm glad this country was created so that I had the opportunity to, to be in the faith and serve God that I have. Thank you. That was a perfect answer. Appreciate it. <laughs> So why is July 4th special to you? And it's a special event because uh, my dad, growing up, that was one of his main events, 4th of July. And he would always gather the family, go buy fireworks, spend a bunch of money on it. And that was like his main, uh, his main month 
out of the whole year. But that's the one he didn't want us to miss. So now that he's not here, that's to me it's a tradition I want to keep on on my kids to memorize my dad and tell myself like this is what my dad left me. I'm gonna keep on with it. Okay. Great. What does Fourth of July mean to you, like as a person, as a Christian? Well, to me, Fourth of July, it, it, the word is there, independence. So we are free. And uh, as a Hispanic parent, it, for me, it's very important for me to teach my children that we are free not only in God, but we live in a free nation. And uh, to my husband, he was saying that to him it's a big holiday because of his dad. To me, it's a big holiday because it's part of my children's history and our history as a family here. I mean, we are we get to have fun. And friends that are more like family and then we get to enjoy the freedom and still have fun and eat a lot of food <laughs> good great thank you spiritually it means that i live in a country where you have the freedom of religion freedom of press and many other freedoms but also, the 4th means the world to me because on July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was, was signed and ratified by many states. As I find it funny that I love the idea on the uh, Declaration of Independence, John Hancock, who wrote his name so big that the king would see it. And throughout that, I will also say it stands for many freedoms that are brought to us from our military and our, and our public safety advisors, I would say that's why the fourth means the world. Okay. Anything else to add? I would. Okay. Thank you. So there you have it. July 4th is the American Declaration of Independence. Yes. Something different for everybody. Um, it can be spiritual, political, and personal, emotional. This thing is um, quite impressive to me. My first job was at McDonald's and Ray Kroc said that none of us is as good as all of us. So it's not to cause this country to implode. I urge everybody this year, 2020, to remember what it means to be an American, to live in the land of the free and the bright. Don't let us implode. How did Rome fall from the inside out? So before I leave, I actually want to leave you with something encouraging. Um, the Bible says to live a life upright. And in 1 Peter 2, 16, it says to live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover up for evil, but living as servants of God. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. So if you haven't already, choose your God. It says here, for you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters, for not to use your sinful nature and instead use your freedom to serve one another in love. So most secular movies, most movies out there, they will always say love is the most powerful thing and ultimately love is the most powerful thing because ultimately God is love. So go in love until next time. Thank you for watching. Well, we hope you had a great Fourth of July, even if you're not in America. We hope you enjoyed your day and we hope that you just develop this unity within your country to serve God first and foremost and to come in unity when you serve God with one another because there's only strength in numbers and you can only cause division otherwise. God bless you and thank you for watching until next time.